welcome back to another, it's me Cameron Capscom, welcome back to another daily Chelsea transfer news video where today I'll be talking about Ivan Tony, Emil Smith Rowe, Chelsea new attacking targets and all things Chelsea so if you're new around Cameron Capscom and I do daily Chelsea transfer news videos I'm trying to get to 1,400 subscribers very soon so if you could like and subscribe that'd help me a lot but without further ado let's get in the first story. Now with it being the last official full week of the window it's going to be hotting up so if you want to keep up to date subscribe I might be doing double uploads this week if there's lots of stories which I think there will be but starting off with a little tidbit to tease you in today's video saying Chelsea are already preparing something preparing negotiations in the next days Chelsea will be busy with offensive players this week now who will all those offensive players be well I'll be talking about a story later but I'm going to stick with the you know players that we've been linked with and I'm going to go to Bobby Vincent who has said Chelsea wants someone who can play both on the right wing and as a number 10 a few names have been identified including Brendan Johnson Ryan Cherokee and Bradley Barsola this is backed up by Fabrizio Romano saying Chelsea remain interested in Bradley Barsola with a deal between PSG and looking complicated at this moment. Backing us off once more for Fabrizio's story saying Chelsea are trying to keep things quiet on the offensive player. They were not happy with the least of news in the media. That's why lots of these stories are going to be under wraps until it's very close. But staying with Bradley Barsola, of course, young Leon Winger. I'd much prefer Ryan Cherky, but that deal looks a bit more confusing. It was confirmed that Chelsea, of course, have scouts at the Leon game yesterday. So very interesting to see which players they're looking at. Probably Barsola and Cherky. Of course, Chelsea are looking for attacking players. Just briefly touching on Brendan Johnson, it looks like he's going to be joining Nuremberg Hotspurs for £50 million. So their loss, I guess. And of course, that is why the deal between that has been dying down. That's why Chelsea looked like to be pulling out of the race and the £50 million were too much. So Chelsea were looking for no more than 30 and with kudos and just see wanted to hijack the deal at the last moment but his head was set on West Ham and that is where he has joined. So Barcelona, young, exciting attacking player from France. Of course, doesn't have that Premier League experience so is why I'll be talking about other stories but yeah. On to the next story. And this is the main story of today, and that's from the Mail Sports saying Emil Smith Rowe, Rafinha, and Fernand Torres are on Chelsea's radar, according to Simon Jones from Mail Sport. Well, kicking off with Rafinha, yeah, we had links with him last year. Of course, hasn't gone to plan in Barcelona, but I don't see that deal happening. The same with Fernand Torres. Emil Smith Rowe is the most likely of this story, of course. Arsenal player, London, Chelsea, relocation, not a problem, and of course, Premier League experience. I think we're looking to reinvigorate his um, career that we knew he had at Arsenal. Two years ago, him and Saka were the bright sparks and it looked like he was going to be a world beater. Mauricio Pochettino, as we know, loves to you know, nurture young talent. He took an MK Dons, Deli Alley, a Norwich, Harry Kane and turned him into superstars. That's what we're seeing with players like Stichos. also been linked last night. So it looks like Chelsea be trying to look for either a loan or to sign any of these players because they want to look for attacking players as I said at the start and where else to look for then Premier League experienced players who right now are going to be the cheapest they are and hopefully Pochettino can help them. Emma Smith Rowe's price looks to be around £35 million which again is a very good deal for someone who has a good talent. Whether that talent is still there I'm not too sure but I'm sure Pochettino will try and bring the best out of it and £35 million, great in current market, English player and Premier League experience as I said. Whether Chelsea will be looking for Sancho, Smith Rowe, Fernand Torres, or Rafinha, I'm not too sure, but I've been looking at Fabrizio's tweets and they're just saying Chelsea are trying to work in the dark and silence because they know what happened with the Elise deal. So, yeah, that's about Emma Smith Rowe. On to the next story. And this is another just update on Ivan Tony and this is from Franz Fletcher. Chelsea have done some early groundwork ahead of a potential move for Ivan Tony, but other clubs are looking at him too. Well, this is pretty obvious. His goal record speaks for himself. No other English player scored more in the Premier League than Ivan Tony, of course. Loves a cheeky bet, like myself, but when you're a footballer, you can't do that. Banned, so it looks like the January market is probably where he's most going to be looking like. But if Chelsea could, you know, sign him now for a later date in January, that could be even better. But of course, Chelsea are looking for an attacker, but with the uh, excitement of Nico Jackson and Amano Broja. You know, we'll have to wait and see whether they kick on and Chelsea won't need to sign a striker, which, you know, personally would be the best. We can't keep spending money. On to the next story. Stinking with more good news, and that's about a left-back and Mark Cucurella. The news started off with a Fabrizio tweet on Saturday night saying Manchester United were interested. Of course, with the injury of Luke Shaw and Malassia, they have no left-back, so they need to find a quick fix. With Fabrizio Romano saying Chelsea will let Cucurella leave if there is a loan fee plus salary coverage. He is Manchester United's first choice. First choice, sorry. Fabrizio Romano 
carries on by saying Ian Matson is really impressing in trading sessions and is it's really appreciated by Richard Pochettino and star but Chelsea makes you feel so no sense to keep Kukrela with no European football he can leave if Chelsea get a loan fee and salary coverage well it looks like one of our left backs we're going to go I know we've lost Lewis Hall but it's whether Chelsea favour you know nurturing Ian Matson, trying to get him that, that form he was yes last year at Burnley and kicking on or cutting the losses, losses with Mark Cucurella and letting him leave on loan, hopefully with an option or an obligation for Manchester United. He's on higher wages as well, so that's another thing. But yeah, Mark Cucurella to Manchester United would be a very, very good thing. Of course, with loan, loan deals, I'll try and look at the positives, even if it is not an option or an obligation to buy. Hopefully, he performs well on one of the biggest clubs in the world, European football, and that boosts his price off. For another season, we could sell him in a later date. On to the final story. <clears throat> now, sticking with good news, and that's for Bicho Romano saying, Roma want the Lukaku deal to be done today. Negotiations took place on Sunday night with Chelsea in play side after a £5 million low fee proposal. So it looks like £7 to £8 million, pounds or €5 million, Euros, you say, for Lukaku to join Roma. Of course, good that he's taking the pay cut and Chelsea can have him off his books and also good that Jose Mourinho is one of the guys um, helped him at Man United also could re revitalise his career and you know maybe come back to Chelsea start or be sold as I said with the Kukurela thing get some football and hopefully we can either sell him or keep him whatever happens it's a good move for both parties involved thank you guys for watching I'll see you tomorrow for more Chelsea transfer news videos or even later today if more stories come out see you then